Hello, BJUI World. Uh, my name is Declan Murphy. I'm the Scientific Director of the uh, Urologic Society of Australia New Zealand uh, Annual Scientific Meeting, which we've been hosting here in Melbourne this week. Uh, we're very proud of our partnership uh, with the BJUI, who are our official journal, publish abstracts for this. Uh, of course, the BJUI publishes our six monthly USAN supplement, uh, and in particular, we're delighted that the BJUI is our social media partner, um, amplifying our content out across the BJUI uh, platforms, writing blogs, tweets, etc. We've had a wonderful few days here in Melbourne, and we look forward to an ongoing fantastic relationship with the BJUI. Good morning here from Melbourne. I'm here with Declan Murphy, uh, who's been organising the whole conference. Uh, so I'm just going to ask him a few questions. Yeah, so as you know, uh, we're a very international community uh, here at SOPI, so um, uh, our delegates, uh, our population are very international, and we, and we very much value our links with international organisations uh, like BAUS, uh, UAA, uh, EAU, AUA, SIU, as you say, all of them have some uh, formal components here, as well, of course, as the BJUI, who are uh, yeah. formal, our formal journal, and there's an entire plenary session run by BJUI. aspects of urologic care, yeah. um, from the medical aspects of diagnosis and treatment of all, all, all urology conditions, as well as the allied health and nursing uh, aspect. So I think generally having a broad spectrum is important. I say that because I specialize completely in GU oncology, so I, I enjoyed the challenge of putting together a program that had uh, subspecialty uh, areas, andrology, reconstruction, uh, etc. Yeah. And there's certainly been every um, specialty within urology that's been presented here. Well as had the app, it's had uh, social media presence, we've been tweeting the whole time. Uh, what sort of changes do you think there will be in, in Twitter and social media that we might see in the next five years and how important is social media to use that? Well, I wish I knew the answer to the word for five years because the, the whole social uh, platforms move so quickly. However, having said that, uh, it still strikes me uh, how, uh, um, how enduring Twitter has been as a tool for urologists uh, and also for conferences. Extremely active on, on social media, yeah. and I think today you still see it. Uh, and Twitter uh, and Instagram have driven huge traffic here. Um, where are we going with it? I think um, visual visual uh, 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 platforms are going to be very very important. And people love taking photos. All our yeah. devices are capable of capturing yeah. uh, video, and, and so I think whatever uses uh, digital media, and that does include Twitter and Instagram. And I think we're going to rely on those. Yeah. BJUI is the BJUI knowledge. Um, is this being disseminated in by USANS? Uh, how's it affected the members here? Yeah, for sure. BJUI knowledge is a very powerful platform for all matters urological, but particularly for continuing professional development. So it's been formally uh, endorsed by USANS and the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons uh, as a tool for keeping our mandatory CPD requirements up to date. So it's terrific, and many Australians and New Zealanders contribute content uh, to the platform as well. So yes, BJUI knowledge. Is for hard work, I do nothing. And he's also, as I just mentioned, uh, associate editor of the USAN supplement for BJUI. So, have, have you three highlights of the meeting or having the meeting um, in Melbourne? Any, anything to comment? Look, I think, it, I think it's gone fantastically well. We've had a, a wonderful international faculty from all corners of the globe. Um, some highlights I thought that um, really the plenary sessions with a mixture of oncology, functional, uh, endourology has worked very well. Um, in terms of, I wouldn't want to specifically highlight one international speaker because they were fantastic. I, I thought we looked at all of the uh, all of the new tools in endourology, looking at different lasers, uh, disposable ureteroscopes. I thought they've now come to the fore, and now the arguments are starting economically, environmentally, and the challenges there. And probably the, the other standout, I think, was just, I guess, looking at the landscape of medical oncology and, and where you all just fit into that. Uh, are we going to be prescribing these new antiantigens or are we going to sit back and, and let our medical, medical oncology colleagues do it? So that's sort of three themes that kept coming out. 
Terrific. You know what's going to happen here. If you put only one emolo, you know what you're going for. <laughs> exactly. We knew what's going to happen.